first problem simplify and write the answer in the form of p by q so we already learned p by q is is the form of a rational number so we need to write this in p by q form first we need to solve and simplify as much as we can okay so let us start the solution so in solution first we will take the first bit square brackets 1 by 2 whole to the power of 3 then again we are having the power 2 so here it is clear that there is one identity so that identity is a to the power of m whole to the power of n so when we are having a to the power of m whole to the power of n then we will directly multiply m and n so m into n is m n next 1 by 2 1 by 2 here we will multiply this 3 and 2 since we are multiplying the powers so 3 into 2 so 3 2s are otherwise first we will write 3 into 2 then we will write down 1 by 2 whole to the power of 3 2s are 6 so we know that if we multiply 1 6 times we will get 1 1s are 1 1 1s are 1 1 1s are 1 okay but for for 2 if we multiply 2 6 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 8 2s are 16 16 2s are 32 32 2s are 64 so we will get 1 by 64 so this is 64 this is the rough work below this line is the rough work and the, our answer is 1 by 64 next now we will solve the second bit so in the second bit you can see it is 3 to the power of minus 2 whole to the power of 3 which is again is in the formula a to the power of m whole to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m into n now 3 to the power of minus 2 we have to multiply this minus 2 into 3 so we will get 3 to the power of minus 2 3 are 6 since the power is negative we will use another identity that is a to the power of minus n is equals to 1 by a to the power of n so here it will be 1 by 3 to the power of 6 now let us multiply 3 6 times 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 3 3 are 9 9 3 are 27 27 3 are 81 81 3 are 243 243 are 729 729 so we will write 1 by 729 